Hey friends, you've reached part two of this little mini series on our product review of the RD Battery 201 model starter battery charging system tester. And, and in part two in this video, we're going to show you that you can just bench test batteries. We have a bad example and a good example to show you how the tester reacts to both of those conditions. If you have the vehicle, this really isn't necessary because you can test it in the vehicle. But we know, especially in the motorcycle and recreational world where we pull batteries, for long-term storage where you like have a maintenance charger or something on there, this would be a great tool when you take that out of storage to verify that it's even worth putting back in the vehicle instead of putting it in the vehicle, testing it, and then going, oh, I need to replace it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, model that in this video. If you haven't done so yet, make sure and watch all five parts of this video because if you haven't heard yet, we are actually giving one of these away free from top down. You have a chance at winning one of these to get into your own garage. All right, with that being said, let's jump on in here, get close, and show you how to use this tester on bench testing batteries. Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. All right, friends, batteries are no joke. Uh, safety glasses, I like to wear an apron. Battery acid is no fun or good on clothes. If you don't know much about batteries or electrical systems, head on over to our uh, playlist for electrical systems, and we've got great content there. And you know there's a ton of it out there. So work safe, be careful. Let's get in here and test this. We're going to go ahead and start with this Power Sports battery here. It's a common size. And one of the things that you're going to need to know is what the cold cranking amps are. And a lot of times on Power Sports batteries, they don't list it. So what I want to recommend is you get over to their website, do the research, find out what the cold cranking amps are so that you're going to be able to properly test it. There's no point in guessing here. Just get accurate information. And in this case, we just went to UASA's website, found out that this is 210 cold cranking amps. Pretty simple hookup, as you've seen from our other tests here, but we need a really good connection. Once we do that, it's going to fire up right away and it's going to say that it's ready to test. We hit OK, battery test, it's a maintenance free, hit OK, cold cranking amps, OK, OK, testing it's no good. It failed. My recommendation is to try and charge the battery to see if it'll recover and retest it. And this has failed both times, so this battery's bad. This battery's given us some clues. It's swollen on the side of the battery here, but we were just really doing it for a demonstration for you to show you that the tester will show that it's bad. Let's look at the data that the tester came up with and, and break that All right, down. Let's take a look at these results. You can see the healthiness is a percentage and that only 45 cold cranking amps uh, were produced out of the 210 that it's rated at. Charge, it says it's zero, it's 11.16 uh, uh, obviously there. Internal resistance is really high. If you start to look at good batteries, you'll see that that number is really high. All right, now we're gonna switch to an automotive battery. Once again, you gotta know what you're working with. This is a wet, uh, flooded battery. We've taken the caps off. We know that the acid is at a good level in here. And we went ahead and we pre-charged this battery and just got it uh, good to go. The battery charger showed that it that it was uh, charged, but there's no better way than to actually load test it with a tester like this. So this is a, a GM style battery where it doesn't have any posts. I didn't want to pull them out of the vehicle, so I just went to the auto parts store and there's a couple different uh, styles that you can get. Uh, these are an actual post. We'll go ahead here and uh, run through the test. The battery, this time we have a regular flooded cold cranking amp, and this time it's 700. Okay, just that easy. Boom, good battery, good numbers. You can see 740 crank, cold cranking amps, 100% healthy, and uh, it was rated at 700, so we did great. The other thing that you can do with this that is pretty cool, when I go back to the base menu, I can toggle down, hit the print data, hit OK, and it's going to print the last test that you did. I've shown this in the other videos there where you could staple that to work order or put it in your own personal file and you'd have a, a time and date stamp of what this battery was like. Think about if you went and bought a brand new battery, you could do that, 
you could take this thing with you to the store and verify that the battery you're buying off the shelf is going to meet the meet the needs that it's supposed to have. If not, you grab a different one. So this thing is, uh, like I said, definitely cool. One of the other features uh, they uh, mentioned that we had to talk about on this is it does have an export feature. Uh, that's cool. Uh, for me personally, like I said, I give authentic reviews here. Uh, it just wasn't needed in my world because I'm going to use technology. If I have to, I'll do a little screenshot, capture it. Let's say the printer ran out of uh, paper. It does even come with uh, you know, two extra rolls of printer paper. Really nice uh, blow molded and foam case like we talked about. The, I'm just thrilled with the tool. So whatever is going to work for you, if you need the export feature, if you want the print, if you just want to read and use the thing, this RD Battery 201 model tester is the real deal. Uh, we've said this already that we've decided to replace our current tester. This is going to be our tester in the shop now for its uh, versatility. And out of all honesty for me, my big deciding factor was, yes, it worked. But I love the fact of the printer capability as far as a customer standpoint. I think that's pretty cool. And then uh, it really you know, adds that professionalism to your shop. Uh, no questions asked. All right, my friends, that's a summary for us here at HowToWrench.com on our product review of the RD Battery 201 model tester. We've already said this before in the other videos of this mini-series. We love it. We've replaced our current tester. This is now our go-to here at the shop. Uh, it does uh, everything we need it to do, but we're especially in love with the printer feature of it just for the customer service side of that. The uh, additional detail that we can pull together and look at percentage and cold cranking amps and battery resistance, that's a, just fantastic information too to catch a battery that's on its way out and maybe hasn't totally failed yet. So uh, watch the rest of the videos in the series. We had auto for one, uh, bench for two, motorcycle for three, then four and five are tips and tricks, and the raffle one of how you can win one of these yourself. All the links are below. If you haven't got your How to Wrench gear yet, please head over to the website. We got stickers, we got shirts. As always, we're going to get back to work. Keep wrenching, and we'll see you again soon.